Dear colleagues, let me present the results of my research, stylistic and conceptual function of episode in a poetic discourse, an experience of tropes, text semantics analysis program application. Cognitive poetics and cognitive stylistics actively apply formal methods of language material description and processing, algorithms and methods of corpus research, natural language semantic analysis with the help of special computer programs. However, the very nature of artistic language is contradictory. On the one hand, the content of the text cannot be deduced uh, from the sum of the meanings of words because the semantics of the text is influenced by various factors. On the other hand, the frequency of textual linguistic elements, which is one of the means of formalizing this complex and ambiguous lingual cognitive and lingual semiotic object, allows researchers to achieve a systematic description of both the meaning of a particular text and the specifics of individual artistic systems. The aim of our study is to identify the specifics of John Keats and Samuel Taylor Coleridge individual style by analyzing the role and semantic cognitive aspects of episodes as elements of their poetic discourse. If the theory of artistic speech episode has not been given due attention, which can be explained by the fact that in the works of many modern authors, the notion of episode is so broad that under closer examination, it falls into hundreds of subjective concepts. In stylistics, the episode is defined as a lexical semantic trope, which is characterized by the mandatory presence of emotional, expressive or other connotation, which express the author's attitude to the subject. We focus on adjective plus noun model of episode as the most common. To determine the meaning and function of episode in verbalization of the core concept, we conduct a two-stage analysis of selected poetic text. The first stage, we build a conceptual profile of the author's poetry. To do this, we use the program of text semantic analysis trope. As the conceptual space of its ethics has 17 most frequent conceptual fields presented in the diagram figure one. The conceptual space of Coleridge poetics has 21 most frequently integrated conceptual fields presented on the diagram number two. With the help of the above mentioned program, we establish the specifics of the lexical content of each of the selected conceptual fields and their variability. For this purpose, it was performed the frequency analysis of verbalizers of microconcepts included in each of the selected fields. A greater or lesser extent, of artistic microconcepts go the processes of artistic transformation, that is, episodization. Therefore, the second stage of the study is to analyze the specifics of the processes of artistic transference. Relationships between frequency of use of the noun and the frequency of context of its episodization was established. It was found that different nouns, nouns have different degrees of episodization. The high frequency nouns, and we analyze the context with a frequency of more than 50, may not undergo the processes of artistic meaning transformations. Stage of analysis of, was performed applying the corpus analysis program and con. The results of this stage of analysis is presented in the tables on the slide. In electronics poetry, the most important The next stage were the analysis of figurative models of epithetization in the poetic discourse of both forces. As a result of the research, semantics of episodes actualized for verbalization of conceptual sphere human and nature 
the basis of semantic and conceptual analysis, it was established that Keats and Coleridge poetry, the episodes that describe a human for ground physical, emotional, behavioral, social aspect. The human being is ascribed to the characteristics of an animal, elements of physical worlds, such as light, color, temperature, human feelings and states are presented through the physical world elements, such as brightness, color, and substance. So please see the examples of episodes based on the most frequent noun, I. Based on the frequency analysis, the ratio of semantic types of episodes was established. Metaphorical and compositional episodes and the ratio of fixed conventional episodes and original authors' individual ones. As a result, it was found that Keats and Coleridge poetic discourse is characterized by a high frequency of fixed episodes, which expand their semantic structure and compositional model under the influence of context. Nouns that receive artistic meaning belong to a variety of conceptual domains, nature, man, abstract concepts, artifacts, art, and color, physical features of objects, physical phenomena, emotions, and states. Frequency ratio of semantic types of episodes in the poetry of both words are presented on the following slide. The next stage of study was to establish the frequency of adjectives in the poetry of John Keats and Coleridge and to determine the main conceptual domains based on their frequency. The total number of adjectives in Keats' poetry is more than 14,000 lexical items. The total number of adjectives in Coleridge poetry is more than 15,000 lexical units. The relationship between the frequency of use and the frequency of epithetization of the adjective in context was established. The frequency and the degree of epithetization was determined by the results of concordance program application. The most frequent adjectives with the highest degree of epithetization is the adjective sweet. The ratio of frequency of use and the degree of epithetization of the 10 most frequent adjectives is presented in the tables at the slide. The next stage of analysis was a comparative aspect of epithetization processes in uh, the poetry of both words. The application of quantitative stylistics and contextual analysis, it was established that the episode is the third in significance trope of the poetic system of both authors, succeeded by metaphor and simile. It was also defined the ratio of figurative means of verbalization of dominant conceptual domains in the poetry of the analyzed authors. For this purpose, apply the methodology of general sampling, metaphors, similes, and epithets were selected from 20 most well-known verses of Keats and Coleridge, predominantly the lyrical poetry, and by quantitative calculation of their absolute <laughs> in these poetic works was defined. That allows us to assume the possible relations of these tropes in the poetry of both forces. It was defined that the artistic comparison simile is the most frequent means of artistic conceptualization. Practically even distribution of similes in the text of the horses manifest the productivity of imagery world perception and reflection of object of artistic depiction on the ground of versatile associations mental operations of assimilation and comparison. In the same way, the absolute and relative frequency of metaphor was defined. The frequency ratio of basic trope in the poetry of Keats and Coleridge is represented in the table by the slide. High frequency phrases, adjective plus noun, in the structure of metaphorical context testify to the productivity of metaphorical episode in the poetic discourse of Coleridge and Keats. 
The analyzed 388 metaphorical contexts almost all contain a metaphorical deficit in their structure. Both abstract and concrete concepts can be metaphorically defined, which also testify to a high frequency of the semantic cognitive operations of mapping of those features of concepts of the source domain to the concept of the target domain, which reflect the anthropocentric nature of the perception of the environment and its statistic and poetic representation. The result of these processes is the spiritualization of the subject of imagery representation, mostly the elements of nature, cognition, imagination, fantasy, emotions. Both sport imagery systems are characterized by the presence of tropes based on the phenomenon of synesthesia, the unity of visual, acoustic, sensory, emotional, and racial perception of the environment. By the usage of fixed associated metaphoric episodes, mostly on the basis of adjectives sweet, soft, deep, green, which are the constants of the folk poetic show the world as constant representation of the phenomena of environment, human existence, and activity. In the poetic context, they are filled with new meanings. At the conceptual level of a work of art, the structured system that contains elements of varying degrees of complexity and abstractness. The main way of explicit verbalization of conceptual information is considered the keyword, their compatibility and semantic vocabulary. But to optimize the processes of keyword selection, the method of concordance complication compilation of both individual works, the whole array of author's texts is highly productive. Created concordances for the relevant corpus of text, those selecting and grouping conceptually loaded vocabulary according to the semantic layer of the context, identifying the necessary fragments of the text for further analysis of distribution, compatibility, and semantic content of lexical verbalization of concepts within micro and micro uh, context. It was revealed that poetical systems of both sources are characterized by a high frequency of trope episodes based on the phenomenon of synesthesia, and the unity of visual, acoustic, sensory, emotional, and rational perception of the environment. The further perspectives of the research presupposes the disclosure of structural types of episodes in poetic systems of the sources. Their role in the development of the general artistic peculiarities of English romantic poetry. So, thank you for your attention.